together. Let's sing this together. We are singing about how God is our greatest treasure. Are you ready? Let me hear you. There's no greater wealth or riches that can compare to you, Lord. Majestic. Arr, the Majestic. She's a moving on to new horizons. How am I supposed to cheer up when this is one of the worst days of my life? Our tree fort, the Majestic, is a goner. Don't you get that? The land has been sold, and it's not like we can buy it back. We don't have that kind of money. We will never, ever be here ever again in our lives. Well, that's true for anything, Miles. We'll never ever be anywhere in exactly the same way ever again. The future becomes the present and the present becomes the past in an instant. Seize the day, I say, carpe diem. Gertie's right. Look, Miles, it's true. The land's been sold and I'm just as sad as you are. But it's summer and we always spend our summers in the Majestic. I refuse to let this summer be any different. We can't just let this day slip through our fingers. Come on, let's have an adventure. Remember Siberia? Oh, and the fierce predator, the lynx. Ugh. Vaguely. Mr. Manny McDuff sent his dirty, stinking rat of a lynx. Miles, you saved the day. If it weren't for you and your finely tuned senses, we would have been toast. That was pretty great. Miles, you smelt with your nose the freezing stream. You smelt it with your two nostrils. It's true. I could smell that cold stream a mile away. I could literally smell it. We would have been frozen in a flash. Flash freeze. Encyclopedia F in case you're interested. Okay. Isn't this fun, guys? Hey, hey, the gang's all here. It's just us, the big three, the three chimichangas. Tres leches. Tres leches is a dessert. It can't be a dessert. It sounds lame. You don't have to name a scoot. We don't need a name. I can if I want to. 
And I want to. I want to find a name that perfectly captures the spirit and our adventures in the Majestic. Miles, Scooter, let's have an adventure. Yes, let's have an adventure. Okay. <gasps> it's Mr. Lungberger. Mr. Lungberger. He scares me. He doesn't scare me. He's just eccentric. You mean odd? I bet he drives a sketchy white van. My mom drives a white van. Listen, Mr. Lungberger is the guy that's buying this land. He's the reason we're losing the Majestic. That was so scary. My heart's beating a thousand beats a minute. How does he know we're here? He lives next door, and our bikes are at the bottom of the tree. Kurt, you have to relax. What do you think he wants? What's he doing here? Well, it looks like he just put something in our pail. What? What? We need to relax. Let's just pull up the pail and see what it is. You see what it is. Me? You see what it is. Me? What is it? I think it's a note. The day is at hand and you need this land. Seek what is before and find much more. Adventure, Adventure awaits. awaits. What does that mean? What was that? It's a hat. Ooh. Don't touch the hat. It could have lice. My mom said if I get lice again, no more sleepovers. You guys, this is about us. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think we should touch the hat. Miles, grab the hat. Me? What about the lice alert? You already touched it once. You're practically immune. OK. <gasps> it's a symbol. A, a symbol. symbol. I know that symbol. That's the symbol of Captain, Captain Longbeard. Longbeard. The Legend of Longbeard. Encyclopedia L. <gasps> the Legend of Longbeard is the one adventure we always wanted to complete, but we never did. Until now. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, my grandma always says, never throw away a good party hat. And I think the whole thing is quite spectacular. Come on, guys, this is it. The next adventure for the summertime fun and the crisscross <laughs> gang. Scooter, Scooter, Scoot. Wait, it, w it was the hat. Scooter put the hat on, and now she's gone. I know what you're thinking. Don't put that hat on. See you later. No more sleepovers. exactly have a scientific explanation for what happened. All I know is we put on that hat and now we're here. Shazoom! Whoa! Whoa. Wait a minute, stop right there! <gasps> you, you sound like my friend Miles, but you don't look the same, and you, you, you smell like my best friend Scooter, but you don't look like her at all. Yeah, you look different too. Huh? And you, who are you and what have you done with Miles? It's me, Miles, best friends, Gertie. Huh? <gasps> Whoa, Whoa! Scooter! Man! <laughs> it is you! What do you mean I look different? Is it a good different or a bad different? Just different! Well, you two look different yourselves. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, weird different. Uh, weird different? We just said you look different, not weird different. I don't know, there's a lot going on okay, right everyone, now. Okay, calm down and take a look at yourselves, Miles. <laughs> <Scooter>. <gasps> <gasps> What's wrong with my voice? It crackles. <laughs> oh, no. This is what my dad warned me about. Warned you? Well, no, not warned, but he told me about this. Wait, I bet I shave. <gasps> I could grow a beard. Ooh. This is awesome! Oh. Hey, you guys, look! I got my braces off. Ooh. Slimy. Ooh. I thought I would be a lot taller in the future. I guess I never needed glasses, though. Hey, I still have my glasses. 
classes, you guys, we completely skip past all the awkward phases. You know, like the finding yourself phase. Huh? And the meaning of life phase. Hmm. Wait, the meaning of life phase? You know, where you take a gap year and go backpacking across Europe. Or is that another year? I'm not sure the millennials have really thrown off this whole growing up thing. Millennials. Classic. Yeah. Either way, it feels good to have just a rat. We're all grown up. You're right, Gertie. And you don't have to find yourself you're right here. Oh. It's just the three of us like it's always been. Oh, yeah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Just three peas in a pod with a brand new pod. <laughs> oh. Wait a minute, Scooter, that can't be our name. Why not? Well, it's too long, for starters. How about just peas in a pod? Well, <laughs> how about we don't worry about finding a name right now? Okay, the I'll right wait. name will come. Just give it time, Scooter. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me get my bearings. Good Woo. idea. Caca, wait. Caca. No, 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 what are you? Miles, oh. Scooter, come back. We don't even know where we are. Hey, you oh. guys. Huh. I think I may have found something. And, and maybe there's letters or I don't know. Uh, R-O-Z-A-R? What is that? Is that like an acronym or something? Rosberry. No, that's not it. Oh, no. Rosar. Wait, Rosar doesn't make any sense. What is that? Rosar, Rosar. It's backwards! Razor! You mean the Razor? The mighty, mighty Razor of Captain Longbeard? Wait, are we talking about a boat? Are we on a boat? Whoa, it does kind of feel like we're on a boat. Yes, we are on a boat. This is Longbeard's beloved mighty, mighty Razor. Whoa! Whoa. This is so Look cool! You guys. I can't Whoa. believe it! You guys, did you know that Captain Longbeard has traveled everywhere, high and low, far and wide, and everywhere you'd ever want to go on the razor? Wow, Whoa. you guys, I can't believe we're on a boat! Does that mean that we're on water? We are on water! Party boat! Who's up for some karaoke near the We can do that later, it's fine. Oh no, you guys, bad news! Huh? I lost the party hat. Uh. Ugh, no, Scooter, we didn't lose the party hat. The party hat is how we got here. But where is it now? Uh, I, I don't, don't know. know! Wait a minute, wait a minute. If we are on Captain Longbeard's boat and his hat is how we got here, then where is he? Where is who? Captain Longbeard, stay uh, with me, Gertie! Sorry! Okay, guys, I have an idea. Let's split up and look for Captain Longbeard. Okay, good All right. idea. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh. 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 Okay, let's try that again. One more time. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh. 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 He didn't tell me you were going that way. Uh. My face. Oh. Okay, oh. everyone go different directions this Got time. It. Good idea, good idea. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Hmm. Gertie, oh. come here. I think I found something. You did? Good news, guys. I found the hat. It's Captain Longbeard's hat. Wait, what? <laughs> Ahoy, me hearty! <laughs> 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 oh, <what is> Ready <laughs> your sea legs and leave the land lovers behind. Whoa, He's amazing. alive! Grand sakes alive, who's alive? You're alive. Uh, of course I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? Well, uh, that's because... Who are you? Oh. And you, and you, uh, scoundrels, marauders, thieves. Uh, are you trying to pull a fast one on me? Huh? huh? I mean, are you trying to pull a fast one on me? Oh. Walk the plank, walk the plank, no, traitors no. aboard. No, 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 we are traitors, uh, sir. Oh, deserters then. <laughs> Did you desert me? No, no, um, to be deserters, we would need to have previously known you. And since we just met, we can't possibly be deserters. Yeah. Oh. I like you. You seem smart and well-read. Excuse me. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> and speaking of dessert, I'm starving. Butter the rolls and make mine a hoagie. Uh, uh, sir, a hoagie is not a dessert, but I do have a Pop-Tart. Strawberry, Ooh. would you like one? What is a Pop-Tart? It's like a pastry wrapped in tin foil. You can eat it right out of the box or toast it. The ones with icing are really good. It sounds ah! really good, yes. I would love a Pop-Tart. Toss her here. Ooh, all right, let me see what we got. Ooh, these packages are difficult to get open. Oh, we got, oh, man. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, that's amazing. That's the greatest thing I've ever tasted. Oh, man, if only there were two in here. Actually. Grand sakes alive, there are two in here. 
I'll be saving this one for the sea in case I get marooned. <laughs> What's your name, distributor of Pop Tarts, little bit? Uh, Scooter Delgado, mm -hmm. and we are the Delgado Three. Oh. Nice to meet you, Scooter Delgado and the uh, Delgado Three. Yeah, what is that? Your name? Yeah. No, oh. we are not the Delgado Three. Okay. Scooter's just trying to come up with a name for our friend group. Anyways, uh, my name is Miles. Miles Inglewood. Oh! oh, that is so awesome! Oh, there's something in here. Here, Miles. Oh, uh, there was Pop Tart in okay, there. Okay, grab your hands together, try them off. Oh. Bradshaw. Oh. Well, pleasure to meet you all. <laughs> My name is Captain Longbeard, and why do you three oh. need a name? Well, I think a name sounds fun, and it connects us and promotes oh. solidarity and loyalty. Yes, yes, I love a solitaire and loyalty, but why don't we just call you Longbeard's crew? <gasps> what? <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> you three can be me crew. I could use a crew. And that pop tart gave me the energy I need. Now I'm ready to get to work. Who's ready to help me find me long lost treasure? <gasps> long, long lost, lost treasure? That's right. I have a treasure that's long lost. Treasure? <laughs> yes. And I need a crew to help me find it. <laughs> I said I need a crew to help me find it. Get oh, over here. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, now, before we find the treasure, we have to find uh, one, two, three, four. The four keys to me long lost treasure trove. Oh. The, the four, four keys to the long lost treasure trove. That's what I just said. The, the four, four keys to the long lost treasure trove. Aye, 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 Captain! Captain. <laughs> Do you want me to say it again? No, that's uh, okay. No. You've already said it like three times. Yeah. I'll say it again. Oh, Let's go find those. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you want to be part of the crew? Mm -hmm. Think you can handle it, huh? Well, you brought Pop Tarts. That's pretty good. Uh, uh, you seem pretty smart. That's going to help out. And uh, I'm not sure what you're good at. Uh, you think you can make it on the high seas? What? Well, then, <laughs> what sayeth you? Are you in? Definitely. What about you? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's one. That's it. Uh, Another one. Oh, yeah. Got it. And uh, what about you? Absolutely. Right. I can see a good time coming. Say cheese. Cheese? <laughs> oh, the eye. What, what is that? Give me that no, thing. No, no, what no, is Amber, this? Don't push any buttons. What about that button? Not that one especially. That button right there? Please don't push it. You no, in no, this button? No, 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 no. No, oh, the eye. Why? Just take it. Get no, away from me. Here. That was the worst button ever. Oh. <sighs> I can't see. All right, I will tell you, I will reward you handsomely. Oh, Mr. Longbeard, you don't need to do that. The adventure alone is all the payment we need. What? No, Scooter, come here. We have something to tell you right now. Come One here. One moment, Longbeard. Right. What? Um, we do need the treasure, or at least part of the treasure, because we can use that to buy back our tree fort. Remember? The Majestic. I don't. What's the Majestic? Oh, well, it's our beloved tree house, and it lies on some land that's recently been sold, and we're going to lose our tree fort. Oh, you're going to lose your tree fort? <laughs> Says who? Well, the bank, my parents, and the odd man who lives next door. Okay, let me get this right. The bank, your parents, the odd man who lives next door? Well, what makes him odd? Maybe he's just eccentric. Oh, I knew oh, it. <laughs> Heave ho, <homies>. mate. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to go. Now, if I can just remember which way we're getting to go. <laughs> Better take a look at the map, see. <laughs> oh. Did you just get that map out of your beard? Yes, I did. Oh, that is Say really cheese! Gross. Cheese. Oh, me eye! Give me no, that thing! No, no don't I'll attack her, please! I'll destroy no. it! All right, she can keep it for now. I'll destroy you it You know later. what? You remind me of somebody. Who is it? Oh, it's that one guy, you know, with the... Oh, I know. Like... James Harden. Yes. yes, yes. I get James yes. Harden all the time, you know, because the beard... Fear the beard and all that. I'm also the MVP, most valuable pirate. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. So what do we do first? Not a clue. Huh? JK, JK, we're ready to get going. Someone just hand me my legs. What? Ah! <laughs> JK again. <laughs> I've got my legs, two good legs, and I can even do the splits. Watch this. Hey, oh! Whoa. Hold on. 
Better hold off on the splits. Haven't stretched my hamstrings yet. <laughs> Long beard's me name, and treasure hunting is me game. Long beard! Oh, is someone calling me? Yes. Hello? Governor? Is this an open line? You know I can't talk in over that governor. I'll call you back. What? Yeah. Oh. Now, where were we? Uh, the map, the four keys, we're gonna get on the boat. That's right! We have to follow the map to find the, the four, four keys to the long lost treasure, treasure trove. <laughs> to the razor! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Yo ho ho and deedle deedle dum! Come on, me crew, let's have some fun! on our journey. <laughs> I welcome you to the land of Brog Ding Nagian. <laughs> welcome, welcome, woo -hoo -hoo. Welcome, welcome, crew of all ages. That includes Gertie, Miles, and Scooter. I proudly welcome you to the land of Brock. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't worry about that, that's nothing. Just getting a little sleepy, okay? Uh, I proudly welcome you all to the land of... Oh, oh, no. We're good, we're good. <laughs> I proudly welcome all of you to the land of... It's time to go to sleep. What? 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 What just happened to Longbeard? I think he might be sleeping. Huh? What is that? Okay, let me out. <laughs> I think he's frozen. Frozen? Uh, well, not frozen like frozen custard or frozen ice cream. More like plague possum. I'm still lost. Okay, let me check him out. Hmm. Hello. Oh. 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 Okay. What is that? Hmm. What? Oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't see that one coming. All right, let me just Say ease you down there. Oh boy, oh, I boy. see a problem here. Oh, oh, and, oh. oh, okay. Let me put both oh. of you down. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're oh, good. Oh. Okay, oh, we're good. Yep, it is official. Wait, what's official? He is officially frozen. <gasps> what? I think we should just let him sleep. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Wait a minute, Mom. This is not normal. Oh, man, Scooter, there are a lot of things here that aren't normal. What do we do? I say we keep him in his frozen state. Okay. A cryogenic state, if you will. A cryogenic? No, no, no. It's cryogenic. An encyclopedia C of or relating to the production of very low temperatures. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys. Look at all these giant things. There's a mushroom right here. Is this a giant shoe? Who would that fit? Oh, Miles, where are we? Well, according to the map, it looks like we have arrived in the land of Brobdingnagian. What is the land of Billy Scooter? It's Bob Brobdingnagian. Brobdingnagian. What? Scooter, Brobdingnagian. It's a word meaning astronomical, colossal, gargantuan, and jumbo, jumbo size. size. This is an island of all things, enormous and massive. So wait a minute. You mean an island with a bunch of big stuff? 
Yes, essentially. <laughs> Why didn't you just say that, Gertie? Well, it's for dramatic effect, Scooter. Oh, OK. Yeah. Exactly. This is a land where everything is humongous. Whoa. What do you think we're going to find in the land of Beepity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-Boopity-
are we gonna do? Except sing and dance. Oh, yeah. Yo, ho, ho, and a vast me matey. See, I couldn't help but notice things are getting kind of shady. If I'm gonna be honest, I'll say you're in a jam. Put your eyes on a pearl, but your body in a clam. Uh -huh. We're all standing in the sunshine, blinking while you're sitting on a cohog cramping. And stinking. You know we were on a mission for the keys. But you let your eyes wander, got your head in the sea. Ooh, what were you thinking? What are you thinking? He wasn't thinking. You weren't thinking. Are you thinking? He wasn't thinking. He wasn't thinking. Somebody save me from the stench. When I say stinking, you say thinking. Stinking. 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 Hands in the air. Here we go. Let me see them up. Everybody's hands up. Here we go. There we go. I'ma go swab the deck. MCLB. Out. All right. I'll see you kids later. Wait, no. Wait, how do I get Miles out of the clam? No, oh, right. Miles is in the clam. <laughs> Good thing I have me lucky rope. <laughs> well, it's not lucky rope. It's just rope. Oh. But it is lucky that I have it. Yeah. Hold this. Okay. Miles, I'm coming for you, buddy. <laughs> Oh, come on, long beard. <laughs> Miles, quick, hand me the rope. Okay. Hold this. All right, kids, we need your help saving Miles. Right. Say heave ho on the count of three as loud as you can. One, One two, two, three. three. Heave, heave ho. ho. Louder. Heave, heave ho. ho. One more time as loud as you can. Heave, heave ho. ho. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Miles, safe. I'm glad you're safe, bud. I think it's time we all look to the sails. David is anointed king, 1 Samuel 16. King Saul did not fill his mind with the things that honored God. One day, King Saul disobeyed God. Then he lied and tried to hide his sin. Unfortunately, King Saul wanted to please people more than he wanted to please God. Because of this, God decided that Saul would no longer be the king of Israel. God sent his prophet Samuel to Jesse's house to choose a new king for Israel who would serve God with all his heart. Samuel looked at Jesse's oldest son and thought he looked like he would make a good king. But God said to Samuel, Don't judge by his appearance or height, for I have rejected him. The Lord doesn't see things the way you see them. People judge by outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. Samuel asked God about each of Jesse's seven sons. Is this the one? This one? Surely this is the new king. Hmm. But the Lord did not choose any of them to be the next king of Israel. Confused, Samuel asked Jesse if he had any other sons. Jesse's youngest son was in the fields tending the sheep. His name was David. Samuel told Jesse to go get David. David was the youngest son in his family and worked every day as the shepherd of his father's sheep. While he was watching the sheep, David talked to God in prayer. He wrote songs for God. David filled his mind and heart with the things of God. When Samuel asked God about David, Is this the one? God said, This is the one. Samuel anointed David to be the next king of Israel. Because David's thoughts were focused on God, he would be able to do great things. What are you thinking? Are you filling your mind with the thoughts that honor God? God cares what you think about. He wants what's best for you. If you choose to think about things that don't honor God, sooner or later, you will stop honoring God altogether. Your thoughts come out in your words and in your actions. What you put into your mind matters. Philippians 4.8 says, Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Jesus will help us to guard our minds if we ask him. Fill your mind with things that honor God like David did. David found the greatest treasure of all time because he knew God. Knowing God is the greatest treasure of all time. What are you thinking? 
What was I thinking? Wow, I was way off base. I was just focused on the pearl, and I forgot all about finding the keys, and I forgot everything I knew about clams. It wasn't right thinking. I knew not to climb inside the clam, but I did it anyways. I had stinking thinking. All the time David spent as a shepherd boy, he filled his mind with God's word and learned how to think God's way. It's important for us to think God's way about everything. Absolutely. <laughs> you three are a special crew. You know what I'm thinking. That we still need to find the first key? Uh, Pop-Tarts. Uh -huh. I was thinking about Pop-Tarts. They're delicious. <laughs> but you're right. We still need to find the first key. The, the key, key is key. key. Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> Miles, what does the map say? Well, while I was so focused on the pearl, I neglected all the clues that the map had about the location of the first key. So, it says we start right here at the clam. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. And then... Um, five paces due west. Hmm. Huh. All right. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five! five. And then, uh, six Carltons do north. Right. Ready? A one, one, a two, two a three, three, a four, a five, and a six. I think it's around here somewhere. Hmm. Does anyone have a shovel? Oh, hold on a second. Let me check my beard. <laughs> there you go, my man. All oh. right. Oh, Ooh. Oh, look, oh. guys. It's right we here. Did it. We did it. We yes. did it. The, the first key. key. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Woo! 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 That was really <laughs> we did it! We found the first key! That means we only have three more keys to find! That's right, muchacho! To the razor! Woo! <laughs> 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 now, man the cannons, don't you know! Hoist the sails and away we go! find the second key? Can you say, Rob Ding Nagian? What will Captain Longbeard pull out of his beard next? Who or what will the kids face on their journey to save their treehouse? The Majestic! <laughs> <laughs>